guys, it's Meg and it's that time of the week again where we get to look dead ahead to see what's coming on next week's episode of The Walking Dead Season 6. Today we're discussing what might happen in Season 6 Episode 2 called JSS. I believe that this episode is going to start out back at Alexandria where everything seems perfectly normal and they think that Rick's crew is just on a dry run for the plan that they're going to start actually tomorrow. Carl and Enid are going to have a conversation about how she arrived at Alexandria. Uh, they may also talk about Carl's past, but I think mostly we're going to get a lot of flashbacks for Enid and how she arrived at Alexandria and what some of the things she went through in losing her parents. We're also going to find out what JSS stands for, hopefully. We do know that this has something to do with her as we do see her in a car uh, writing the initials on the window. I believe that the scene where she is in the car and the window is all bloody and she looks very frightened is actually a flashback scene. Uh, I don't believe that this is happening in the current time frame. Either before or after this, we will see Father Gabriel come up to Carl seeking uh, Carl's help. We have seen in the past episode that it appears Father Gabriel is feeling bad for what he said about Rick's group. Uh, he knows that he was in the wrong and that all of the you know things that he felt were really things that were about him and not about the group. It seems like he's seeking redemption. He asks Carl uh, if he will help show him how to use the weapons like Carl was going to do back at his church and Carl agrees. He says that uh, Gabriel should tell everyone how he feels and also to meet him at his house at three o'clock and they will start with the machete. Now the next prediction uh, you guys may or may not agree with, but I believe that the wolves will roll up to the gate of Alexandria. In the last episode, we saw that Eugene was standing at the gate and he mentioned Holly, who we still have not seen her face, was supposed to be manning the gate and you know convinced him to stand there. We have heard Holly's name multiple times, um, yet we haven't seen her. What if she was standing at the gate when the wolves arrived and, you know, maybe when she got too close to the gate, one of the main guys stabbed her. We do see a scene in this preview of this unknown woman. She has blonde, short hair. I originally thought she looked like the woman with Daryl uh, in a future, that will be in a future episode. However, I think it's too early to see that particular woman in this episode number two. I'm wondering if this is Holly, and we just don't know who she is because we haven't seen Holly yet. What if Holly was at the gate, she got stabbed, and that's what we see in the preview where Tara, Rosita, uh, Eric and Aaron are all uh, holding, you know, bringing this woman, unknown woman, into the hospital, the quote unquote hospital, <laughs> where we will also meet Denise, Dr. Denise Cloyd, for the first time. She is a new character we're expecting to see in this season. Maybe when things don't go according to the wolves' plan, they perhaps run their car into the gate or one of the walls, causing the car's horn to go off in that ongoing siren horn blast that we heard at the end of episode one. It really sounds like what you would hear when a car crashes into something and the horn gets stuck. I mean, that's really what it sounds like to me. I'm wondering if once the wolves try and scare the Alexandrians by stabbing Holly, if this you know, if my predictions are correct, obviously all of this is speculation. Uh, maybe they decide to run their car into the gate because they didn't open the gate for him. Uh, and the horn goes off. That then draws all of the giant walker herd towards Alexandria. Now, I believe that uh, they, I think, I could be wrong, please correct me if I'm wrong, that the quarry was about 20 miles away from Alexandria. So the herd won't arrive at Alexandria right away. It will take a little bit of time. It will also take a little bit of time for Rick's group to get back to Alexandria, and I think that we will see them get split up and arriving back at Alexandria at different times. The reason I think that it is the wolves that are getting into Alexandria rather than walkers is based on these sneak peeks for episode two, but also some things we saw in the Comic-Con trailer. I get the sense that it's people infiltrating the wall uh, at this point rather than walkers based off of Carol's reaction, uh, Deanna and Maggie's reaction, and, you know, the general sense that someone had to have stabbed this unknown woman uh, at some point. Whether or not she was outside the wall and was stabbed, uh, then leading, you know, inadvertently leading the wolves to the wall, uh, I'm not sure. But I, 
you know, I'm pretty sure that it is the wolves attacking Alexandria at this point. Now, they may uh, bring walkers into it. We see in the sneak peek, Deanna and Maggie, you know, running towards something. We don't see what they're running towards. But if you look back at the Comic-Con trailer, we do see that there is either a walker or a human set on fire and being thrown over the top of the Alexandrian's wall. So, you know, obviously walkers can't go ahead and do that. It had to be people. Now, I, I really think that they're they're setting things on fire, causing a distraction, um, throwing, you know, uh, walkers on fire over the wall to kind of, you know, create this disturbance and uproar so, uproar so that they can sneak into Alexandria. We hear Carol come down the stairs and say, uh, you know, they're coming in from all directions. So it sounds like this wolves group might be larger than expected. Let me know what you guys think about this particular theory in the comments, please. I also wanted to mention that we do see in the preview uh, for episode two that Jesse and Ron and I think Sam, but I'm not, no, I'm sorry, Jesse and Sam, but I think Ron, I'm not sure. I have to go back and look. Uh, I'm not looking at the picture right at the moment, but we see them hiding in the closet that uh, uh, Jesse had put a lock on the inside of the door for Sam to hide in when Pete was getting violent. So this has proven useful. And they're hiding in the closet. Uh, she has a gun. Earlier in the preview, we saw her um, running up the stairs and she looked down and it sounded like someone was breaking into her house. So this just furthers my thoughts that it is the wolves breaking in. Now, I don't think we will see much, if any, of Rick's group trying to get back to Alexandria. This is only an hour-long episode, which we know really means just about 45 minutes long. I think a majority of the episode will be focused on uh, Enid, Carl, um, the flashbacks, maybe a little bit of Father Gabriel. Uh, probably, you know, a good portion of this episode will be on Enid's story. Then we will see, you know, the latter half of the episode, this wolves interaction and, you know, chaos ensuing. Uh, if we do see Rick's group trying to make it back to Alexandria, I'm pretty sure that they will all arrive at different times. I'm, I'm, it makes sense that they will get separated. A lot of them were in different parts of this area, you know, of the plan. So they were not all together. They are probably going to try and meet back up together, but it makes sense that with a thousand walkers going in all different directions heading towards Alexandria, that a lot of our characters will be cut off and forced to go in opposite directions. Uh, now, I don't believe that what I'm going to talk about next will actually happen in this episode, but, you know, when we see in the Comic-Con trailer, Daryl separated, he's alone on his bike, uh, and we see that he is meeting these characters who we think may potentially be Dwight from the comics. We are not sure of that yet, but I believe, you know, he gets separated from everyone and ends up, you know, meeting up with these new characters. I do, however... I do not, I should say, think that will happen in episode two. I'm just stating my thoughts on that for now. Um, the action, whether or not it's the walkers or the wolves, will not be solved in this episode two. I believe that it will continue on into episode three and perhaps even episode four. Uh, that is it for my Dead Ahead Predictions video. Please, you guys, let me know what your thoughts are on these predictions. What are your predictions? Let me know any questions you might have in the comments below and we can discuss this further. I hope you guys have a great day and enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot.